using the right form for the right reason is important. Make sure you fill out the right form when requesting your infrastructure. If you know Amazon Textract, then you already know that it's one of the best API-driven OCR endpoints that is available for you to integrate into your application. What does all that mean? What's an OCR? It's optical character recognition. So in other words, you can get a scan of a document and it can read that document, extract the text and make it available for you. Now, up until this point, it's only worked with printed characters. So like, in other words, computer generated or typewriter generated, I suppose, characters. It's done the best it can with handwriting. And that's kind of unfortunate because a lot of people online who like to write blog articles about Textract test it with handwriting. And it's actually there in the documentation that it doesn't work with handwriting. That is up until now. So as this video drops, Textract supports handwriting. Make sure you fill out all the fields in the form. The cool thing about Textract and the way that it works is it doesn't just extract all of the text and make it available in one big paragraph and say, here you are. It actually wraps it all in a bunch of metadata, like where the text has appeared within the form, but also the relationships between the pieces of text on the form. And this goes for things that are in typeface and for things that are handwritten. So if you get a form from, for example, 1980s Mike, then you can extract the data out of it, even though it's been written in by hand in key value pairs. So you can get requested by paired up with my name in this case, uh, resource type paired up with bucket. So let's just have a bit of a recap of Amazon Textract. It is actually quite a simple service. Uh, more or less, you just pass a document in and it will pass you some data back. There are some uh, little bits and pieces you can change and you can uh, add it into a workflow with Amazon Augmented AI. Uh, but for now, let's just have a look at the basic OCR capabilities. And in the console, it actually has one of these uh, demo pages um, so that you can actually see it in action. Um, and you can see from this page, um, um, that it's picking up all of the text out of this example document that it's got. Now, this particular version of Amazon Textract is a couple of days before the release of handwriting recognition. So let's have a see how it would actually have gone um, with one of the forms that uh, Mike from the 1980s filled out. And as the results come back, you can see that it has identified where the handwriting is, but it's not done a particularly good job of reading this handwriting. Um, so let's move to a region where I've got the new version of this service um, enabled. And let's upload that document again and have a look at the difference now that Amazon Textract has handwriting recognition built in. And you can see as that comes back, again, it's highlighted the same areas, but now it's done a much better job. In fact, it's done a perfect job of reading the handwriting, even my scrawl of handwriting inside of this form. Now, what's really exciting and what's uh, built into Textract from the get-go is the ability for it to be able to analyze the location of these items and actually make the linkage between these things in having key value pairs. So the data that comes back, the raw data that comes back from this service has all of this relationship data about the elements on the form or on the document that you've scanned. And you can see that through the console. If I go to this forms tab here, you can see that it's picked up key value pairs from resource type of server, resource name of whatever I've chosen and requested by me. So it's extracted that data out of the form in a structured way that you can query. And so that opens up the possibility, of course, with being able to ingest that data and do something with it. Now, I just want to show you in my console here, I have got two S3 buckets in this account that we're playing with, um, and I have got currently no EC2 instances. Why am I showing you that? Well, let's have a go at something. Let's go back to our S3 buckets. If I go to this particular bucket, which is one I've been playing around with, and upload one of those documents um, to this bucket, Let's see what happens. So I'm going to go to upload and I'm going to grab one of the scans that I've got. So I've got uh, TPS bucket here. So let's just remind ourselves this is what it looks like. OK, let's go and grab that and stick that into this bucket. Let's scroll down. Let's click upload. 
and it's uploading now. And in just a short moment, it's going to finish. And I actually have some automation on this bucket that it'll actually trigger a Lambda function when I put something into this bucket. Uh, so let's now go back to our main bucket page um, and go to Amazon S3 here. And you can see we've still got two buckets, but if I press refresh, it's actually gone and created my new bucket test. So if I go back to that form that I filled out, um, it's actually created this for us. So yes, we've gone from this paper-based form, we've scanned it, we've used um, Amazon Textract to extract that information and actually carry out the change request that's been requested by this form. Um, let's go and have a go with um, another one. So let's go back into our cover sheets folder. Let's go to Upload. And let's grab the other one, which is Server. You can probably guess what this is going to do. So I drag that into there and click Upload. And we can watch that upload, shouldn't take too long. Um, uploading my server request form into the S3 bucket. And I'm sure you can imagine what that's going to do. It's going to trigger the Lambda function. It's going to read that document using Amazon Textract. And then if we go over to our EC2 instances, currently there are none. Let's press refresh and see what we have. And uh, there we go. We have my new ACE web server, which has been spun up um, all thanks to Amazon Textract automatically inside of our account. And if we go back down here and have a look at the tags, then hopefully we can see, yes, the requester has been set to Mike Chambers, which it's also done. So that's pretty cool. This is all being done through a Lambda function, which is running off of the event of putting something up into the S3 bucket, sending the form off to Textract, and then figuring out what to do based on the key value pairs that it's extracted from the form. And I don't think there's a better demo that you could do for Amazon Textract now recognizing handwriting. Of course, there are more serious applications for this. Um, so imagine now that banking customers for AWS can scan checks and uh, pull out from that the values that have been written on those checks. There's lots of processes that still involve paper-based forms with people filling them in, invoices, all this type of stuff that we're now going to be able to extract data and meaning from. Even forms that have had notes written on them we can extract that out too. So there's lots of possibilities for Amazon Textract now supporting handwritten characters. And remember, the right form for the right reason. So this was just a short video to introduce you to the fact that Textract now supports handwriting. Hope you found it useful. Hope you found it interesting. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.